are we going everybody? Well, some of you may have already planted. I know some of you planted too early and the frost came along and knocked them back. And the others are about to plant just like I am. Now what I'm doing here is harvesting my last year's crop. We're talking beans here folks. These are my climbing purple kings that I've had in the, in the ground from last year. And I'm going to plant them again. I'm going to plant them against the trellis I've got at the back there, the raised beds with the, la with the, uh, the lettuce growing in them. In the middle, there's some room there. I can drop some of these beans in there because I love big beans. But we're also going to plant some new varieties that I've brought in. And these are heirloom varieties as well. We haven't got enough climbing ones of our own to pass on, folks, but we do have plenty of the... Uh, oh, the wind's come along. We've got plenty of uh, the, the bush type. So we've got Purple King as a bush. We've got Blue Lake as a bush and Royal, uh, what is it? Royal Burgundy. They're the three varieties that are bush beans that we'll have available on our website for you. If you want to plant some beans, heirloom, clean, chemical free, just the way I'm doing this here. We've got a big batch of them so we can put them online. Now these are going, oh, look at them, fantastic. I reckon these are going to outperform these ones only because I've grown these already in my garden, folks. And I'm talking about my ones. And that's the thing with all plants. When you start collecting the seed from your garden, from the plants that you grow and harvest, no doubt the next generation that you plant out into the garden and, and grow on will actually grow better than the season before, providing the weather's right and your soil's all perfect and conditioned properly. I mean, they, they're all the factors that you've got to include. But as far as the bean or the plant or the tomato, whatever variety it is, if it grows healthy the one season and you harvest seed, you will have a better crop the following season. Why? Because it's already acclimatized. That little seed that you plant in the ground already knows how to grow in that climate of your garden. So, and that's what we're going to do here. We're going to plant these beans in my garden. We're also going to plant the other ones and let's see how they go, eh? All we're going to do now is add a little bit of superfood and black grit and plant away. Now I've got to prepare some more raised garden beds, folks, because I am running out of room here. But I am going to sneak in some in this bed here because this is where the Purple Kings grew last time, the climbing ones. And look, I've got some endives growing in here and spring onions obviously in the silver bed on the other side. Now these will grow quick enough so I can harvest them before these get too big. That's the beans that is. One thing I didn't mention folks, a good thing to do with these beans is to actually soak them in a little bit of smoke water or liquid gold overnight. If you like, not even overnight, a few hours, a couple of hours if you like. That just softens them up. Well, I'm just going to go straight in the ground. I mean, I don't practice everything I preach. You know, I'm pretty successful most times. But if you are going to give it a go for the first time, a little bit of liquid gold, half strength, just soak them in there in a little container before you plant them out the next day or even that morning is all they need. Now, before we do plant them, the other thing that I like to do is just top dress the garden bed again with a little bit of black grit. This is all I'm doing like that. And we're also going to add some super food on top of this over this area. Now it's a handful per square meter and if you're doing a Greek style handful this is a square meter. That's it there. <laughs> it is about two handfuls folks. I just did say one handful but it should be about two handfuls per square meter and again We've done our trials. You've seen me do the trials with the superfood. It hasn't burnt the plants that I've planted directly into it, but it's not a planting medium. It is a organic fertilizer, soil conditioner. You know what I need here? Knee pads. Knee pads. The silly's got them. has got them. Maybe I should go online and bloody buy some. And just use the cultivator. All I'm doing is breaking the crust. I'm not going to try and turn it in. Just breaking it up like that. All that will work its way down as we start to water it. Now with the beans you can plant two in a hole at a time if you like, normally about eight to ten centimetres apart. So if you're going along the row, as I'm going to go here, this is 20 centimetres. So if I go by this framework, I can put one here, one there, one there, one there, one there. So on every post and in between every upright as well. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three plants I can put in this bed here. That's in a single bean per hole. And we're doing the blue, oh sorry, the purple kings, the climbing ones that is. These ones here, so. And only about three centimeters deep. You don't have to go much deeper than that folks. Pretty much the size of the bean, oh it just dropped one, never mind. Pretty much the size of the bean is the depth of what you need to go with the seed. So if it's a tiny seed, literally just drop it on top. He's hungry, or she's hungry. I'm just going to use my finger this time. We have got dibblers, and it's a good thing to use if you're 
not inclined to use your finger. Just push the mulch out of the way. You don't need too much mulch on top. See how I just cover it? That's all it is. Literally just below the surface. Actually, ideally, you shouldn't cover it because you'll forget where you are. Leave them open so you know where you've dropped one and where you haven't. I better hurry up and finish this segment because those sheep are going to eat me. Use a dibbler, folks. It's a lot easier, a lot cleaner. You don't get your fingernails dirty. Like that there, one there, we're up to that point. We'll just cover it over. And once you finish planting, folks, don't forget to water them in with a little bit of liquid gold. You don't have to put the EK butch yet. Only wants to start growing. A nice soaking like that, and that will trigger them. And before you know it, it'll be Jack and the Beanstalk. Check out our website, vasilisgarden.com, if you want to try some of our bush beans. All there for you, for your garden. From me, Vasily Maresi. Bye.